This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial I'm going to show you how to change uh, the world to black and white or any color that is okay so first things first this is gonna be a short tutorial and the next thing we need to do is go to our place actors tab and we're gonna type in post processing volume so we're just gonna uh, put that in here here and it's really not uh, it's really not that uh, difficult to do but one thing you do need to do is expand it so that it engulfs the entire world that's pretty easy to do, but you got to scroll all the way down here and says extend infinite. And what that will do is that will extend everything uh, to the infinite here. Now, the post processing volume has a lot of things in it. But what we're going to be looking at specifically today is the saturation. So if we type in saturation, okay, we get a few things here. We have the global saturation and we have the film saturation if we click on that that's not what the one we want we want the global saturation here we're going to click on that and you can actually do a bunch of cool things here um you can change um uh, everything but what we want to do is we're just going to change uh basically everything to zero now i know as you can see it does change to black and white but let's just um but what you can also do by the way is you can change it so that like um you know, it can be one or the other, right? So you can change it up to different colors and that's a, definitely a different color, right? And if you wanna, you know, change that here, right? Just like so, or this, so you only have red. All right, and so you get the idea. Now, one thing let's do before we go on here is let's click on the, on the ground here and we and we don't want to click yeah on the floor instance here and what we want to do is we want to go into the materials here and double click this cube and let's change this cube to a nice nice red a nice red will do and then you can always do that here and i think that's perfect so it, what we'll do is we'll save that. It'll give it a couple of seconds, but nevertheless, it's going to uh, change here. I'm just going to pause it because this takes a while. All right, so there we go. And then you can see here, uh, once if we click this post-processing volume again, a lot of these things tend to make a little bit more sense, right? So if you add in the red, take out the blue, it will only show mostly the red items here and you can also change the intensity of that as well but because everything like if i click this off this is what it really looks like when you play it right and if we for example uh click on this post processing volume again and click the saturation you can see that you know um if we wanted to do one here uh you you can see that that would work here but let's take everything to black and white and as you can see everything is indeed black and white and it is also, uh, you can see definitely the sky is also black and white. Let's just do one quick thing before we go. Let's do infinite and then let's, let's unclick that here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kind of move this post-processing volume kind of here and up like so. And I definitely don't want the player to be in there, but watch what happens when I enter it. Look at that. Okay. Everything's black and white, then it turns back to red. Pretty cool stuff, right? So that's how processing, processing volumes work. They don't have to be uh, extended to the infinite, but most often you do use these process, post processing volumes uh, because, I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger here, but uh, the, the re number one reason why you do use them is to make your game look good. There's other things like lens flares that you can do with it. But in this case, we're just changing the color, which I think is the best game mechanic, in my opinion. And as you can see, everything does change in this particular um, uh, when you're in this post processing volume. And as soon as you leave, things move back to what they were here. All right. So there you go. That's how you use post processing volumes. And that's how you change your game to black and white. Thanks very much. See you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. 
it really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.